enrolling at classes in BMCC fall 2020. The enrollment system is currently broken. There's a slim chance that you can go to the student portals page and use the student wolf web to log in, but it's likely you'll get errors doing that and it just won't work. If that's the case, if you run into any errors in the student wolf web, and then what you need to do is try our EasyReg forms. Uh, the registration form you'll have to sign up for. To do that, you'll just enter your name, full name, and then enter the email address you want to use uh, to connect to. Could be your school email address if you can get into that or any other email address. Once you do that, you'll get a, a screen response to this that says emails have been sent. So then you should go check your email. And if you don't see it in your inbox, you could search for DocuSign. And you should get some messages from BMCC student records via DocuSign. And the message should say review document. And this is how you'll need to sign up for classes. Continue. And then fill this out. This is fall term. Enter your BMCC ID if you know it. If you don't, then you'll need to contact uh, the service center. Enter your name. Any field that's red has to be entered. Others are optional. Uh, you are enrolling at least one course, so only one of them's red, but you can fill in as many of these as you want. Now, to figure out what courses to get into, we got to go somewhere else. So this form we'll come back to. If you go to the schedule of classes here, then you can search for classes. If you find this search too painful, then you'll need to contact the service center and get hooked up with an advisor. Uh, but there's some information about on the top about how this, this uh, scheduler works. You can either search by keyword in the title of the course, or you can search by the, the course ID. So for example, we have a course called Intermediate Algebra. And so if I type intermediate in there and search, I should find any course whose title has intermediate in it. And so I get some inter intermediate algebra courses. I'm also getting accounting and some other stuff. Uh, alternatively, instead of typing a word that's in the title, if you know it's something like MTH, maybe 095, then you can enter that course ID and search for Math 95s. If you're looking for just a whole bunch of math courses, you could just do the MTH and leave off the 095. And then you should be able to find all kinds of math courses. Uh, and they're in kind of a random order. Now, the problem with this view is it doesn't tell you uh, when the classes meet. So I'll show you that next. Uh, it will say online, which means there are no set meeting times. But if there's something like BAKR for Baker or Hermiston or, or Pendleton, then you'll have to go click for details to see how the class meets. And so if I go down below to the calendar, I can see what days the class meets. And if I point at that, it tells me what time the class meets. So I can see this class meets every day of the week from 9 to 9.50 uh, in the scheduler. A little awkward, but it's all we have at the moment. I'm sorry for that. Uh, so again, you can search for classes here by going to the class schedule of classes. And then once you're in there, you can look up a class. So then from here, let's see, there should be a way to get back, back to search results at the bottom. And then I could try searching for something else, like maybe I want a writing class. Now you'd think that all writing classes have the title writing in them, but they do not. So if you do search for the word writing for a writing class, you only see some writing classes, but not others. Uh, so that means you would have to know a course code like WR121, which didn't show up at the writing classes because writing is not in the title, it's English composition. All right, so if you want to figure out, if you're not sure what classes to search for there, then we have to get to a yet another page. So under academics on the home page, the catalog will tell you what kinds of classes there are. So for example, if I select the 2020 catalog online, 
I can take a look at degrees and programs. And for example, the Associate of Arts Oregon transfer specifically says, hey, you need writing WR 121. It also says down below, you need some arts and letters courses. Well, what the heck are those? There's usually a link that will show you the names, the title, and course number, course code, of each of the courses in those categories. So that will give you an idea of some search terms that you can use in the course scheduler. So between the catalog, which is available from the home page, academics, catalog, current catalog, and the schedule of classes, you can find course numbers and sections to then enter into your nice fancy document. For example, maybe I'm going to take Math 95, so that's MTH 095, that I can find that on the scheduler here. And again, I apologize for the awkwardness of this. Pick the section that you want. Let's see. You may want to check open and closed here, because it could be you want to get on a wait list for a course. So for example, a moment ago, the online one wasn't visible because it's full. Uh, but if I want to get in that class, I need to first get on the wait list so the teacher can then decide if they're going to open up a new section. And that's important. So then this online one would be my section. So I can just copy that, bring it over here, and put that in the section. And then what would happen is I'd be put on the wait list for that, and I'd, I'd, I'd then do a follow-up by contacting the college to see if that wait list was going to turn into a real class. And then type or paste the name in there. Uh, instructor name's not going to be visible on most of these uh, unless you dive into the course details. And then down here in the calendar, oops, where'd it go? Oh, this one doesn't even have it. Okay, so the online versions won't show the instructor, but the ones that have meeting times will show the instructor in that calendar that was up there a minute ago. Fun stuff. Thanks for bearing with us. Um, number of credits, you don't have to enter that, but it's not a bad idea to enter that in for your own uh, purposes. And then keep adding classes as you need to. And once you've filled out the top information and all the courses that you want, then you're ready to sign it says I need to finish filling it in, um, and then you can finish it and you're done, you're enrolled. So good luck with that. My name is Gary Parker. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.